Hi everyone, welcome to another video of SyncPrix. In today's video, I'll show you how you can install ERP Next on Windows. So any Windows machine that you have, you can install ERP Next version 15. So for this purpose, I'll be installing ERP Next on Docker. So if you don't know what is Docker, I have provided you the link of the Docker installation in the description below. So you can see how you can install Docker and how you can set up Docker on Windows. So right now I have one stack here, which is SyncBrix and there are multiple machines right now running. So I'll be creating a new stack where I'll be installing the ERP Next on that particular stack. Docker Compose is also configured here. So we will be going to the GitHub slash Frappe slash ERP Next. So ERP Next installation guide is available here. And if you go down here, use docker to deploy erp next in production so you can go here these are various files available here and we need to have this yaml file which is pwd.yaml so you can download it from here or you can see a raw and then you can copy this and create your yaml file or you can simply download this here so here I have downloaded this file. So I have created a folder called data. Inside data, I have created Docker and inside Docker, I have the folder called Frappe and inside Frappe, I have copied this PWD file. So you can edit this, but I won't recommend you to edit this file. I'll go to Visual Studio Editor to check what is the content of this file. This is the YAML file. These are all the services which will be running in various containers. Backend, which is container and then configurator is the container. So these are various containers and these all containers will be using various volumes. And there are total these five volumes which will be created for the database, uh, which is MariaDB. MariaDB will be using DB dash data, then Redis queue data and Redis cache data and then site and log. These are five volumes which will be created and there are multiple containers which will be created and here you can see it will look for the images frappy erp next if i show you port for the environment the upstream ip address will be internal but here you can see the port is 8080 it means that i'm installing this on my local host so it will be localhost colon 8080 right now of course nothing is there it will not open anything now using this compose we will start our stack so here is this folder so i can directly run the command here in this folder so i'll do cmd here it will open the folder directly here which is data slash docker and slash frappe so if i see here dir so it will show you that pwd.yaml is available here so docker compose is also installed here docker ps so right now these are all containers which are running hamdel is there wordpress is there and there is php my admin so I'll be just closing this compose file. And now you have to use this command docker compose, which is the docker compose command. We'll be using hyphen p, which is for project and our project is pwd. And then we'll be specifying the file name dash f and pwd.yaml, which is of course inside this frappy folder we created. We'll be using the command up, which means that all the services and containers will be up once the image is downloaded. And then I'll be using detached mode, which is dash t. So enter this. So it has started pulling all relevant images, 17 containers and volumes and networks. So if you can see here, it has created 12 containers, five volumes and one network. And if I verify it here, you can see here inside PWD, it has created all these containers. So images are there, volumes are there, and then containers are there. So these are all containers inside our stack, which is PWD. You could give any name. So here you can see one create site dash one. If I go back here, localhost 8080, it has started. One thing that I want to make sure that if anything goes wrong, so we'll be able to capture the logs also. So Docker space logs, and here I'll be using PWD dash create dash site dash one, which is my site and dash F, which will be continuously taking the logs for one container only, which is PWD dash create dash site dash one. So now current site is set to front end and we'll exit now. You can see here our Frappe is installed in Windows without installing virtual machine. You are able to run ERP Next version 15 on your desktop. You can see here CPU load is also not much 1.97 and it is also not taking much memory here. Default user is administrator and password is admin. And chart of accounts i'll be choosing standard otherwise you can choose standard with numbers depending upon what you want to have in case you want to have a demo data also so you can do the demo data for exploration so i'll be using demo data as well so complete setup erp next version 15 is now installed on windows system i'm using windows 11 and here if i click on help about you can see here erp next 15 frappe framework 15. 
these are both the latest versions which are available right now so this was about installation of erp next version 15 any docker environment which you are using whether you are using on linux on windows on any cloud platform so you can take all these docker containers to cloud and then you can start using it so here you can see containers which are running within the pwd stack all the volumes so db data is in fact your database you can see here it is using mariadb 10.06 image so you can in fact take the backup of this complete container and if you want to know how you can manage all these containers using the portainer how you can manage docker on windows or linux i have provided the link of that in the description otherwise you can go to learning center and you can learn what is container and how to run a container so this was all about installing erp next on windows using docker see you next video take care and goodbye